Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, HTTP session listener uh, introduction. Uh, suppose in uh, web application, uh, if HTTP session is created or removed, event will be generated. Okay, uh, the event called uh, HTTP session event. This event uh, we can listen using listener. So here you can see uh, uh, my HTTP session listener, which implements uh, HTTP session listener interface. And uh, using this listener, we can uh, listen this HTTP session event okay so whenever uh, event is created uh, when HTTP session is created or removed uh, we can listen using uh, this uh, my HTTP session listener which implements uh, HTTP session listener interface okay and uh, based on uh, HTTP session created or removed if you want to perform any operation that you can do it in the listener uh, class okay and we will see what is HTTP uh, session listener. So the HTTP session listener is an interface and uh, it has uh, two methods. Uh, the first method is uh, session created. Uh, this method will be called uh, uh, when session is created and uh, second method is uh, session destroyed and uh, this method will be called when uh, session is uh, destroyed. Uh, so both this method receive uh, HTTP session event okay uh, so if you want to write uh, a custom uh, listener uh, which will uh, receive uh, uh, notification when session is uh, uh, created or removed then uh, you have to implement this uh, interface and uh, that listener class uh, you have to configure in the uh, web.xml file okay and here you can see HTTP session event uh, we will see what it is so it is a class and from that uh, HTTP session event uh, object uh, we can get the uh, session which has been uh, changed okay uh, by calling uh, get session method of uh, HTTP session uh, event okay and uh, this is about uh, HTTP session listener introduction and I have created a separate video for HTTP session listener demo uh, if you want to know more about this one, please log into my channel and uh, watch that video. And thanks for watching. Bye.